Oh. Take it away. Here we go, guys. It's an exciting one we have ahead. We've got Tiger, we've got J Mac, and they are quick on these pre bans. We've got the Knicks getting pre banned by J Mac, and we have the Hay Gang getting pre, -Mac, uh, pre banned by Tiger. Always love J Mac. D ranking down to the 999 range just to flex a little bit for the tournament. Always a fun thing to see a little bit of laughs here. First pick going to Tiger, though. Not quite sure what his strategy is here. He has a lot of different opportunities. I'm a bit surprised on the Hay Gang ban. And doesn't necessarily need it when he has a Tian Lang, but there it is. Takes the Han away from J Mac, denies it on the first pick. Yeah, denying the Han away from J Mac, but we've got Watery and Okeanos coming up for J Mac. Okeanos being such a consistent first round pick. Yeah, we know J Mac definitely likes to play that first turn, has incredible swift runes, incredible artifacts by additional by speed. But here's the response takes another speed, he takes the 33, slams it down. Tiger goes in with the Samoth and the Jogun. A second round Samoth is very interesting to see already in the Jogun, I'm not too surprised about. J-Mac taking a note from, from Fate Memories matches yesterday. We're seeing a Chloe coming out. Here it is, the Chloe tech. Fate Memory and J-Mac being really good friends, sharing a lot of secrets, knowing a lot about how each other plays and how other people's plays. It's incredible. There's the double speed lead. The Sierra comes in. What will Tiger respond with? We see the Chibu picks a third speed lead. Doesn't quite necessarily need the Han speed lead opportunity here. It definitely doesn't because we got a 24 speed lead coming out of Chibu. Chibu going to be paired up with one other unit. Multiple strips on the side of Tiger right now. Really like that Carnal lock in. I think Carnal's very effective against a lot of units here. Samoth very effective against the Moor as well as the Han. Han is very effective against that as well. Jogun is going to be an interesting pick here. I'm um, not quite sure how contended it will be. The skill to seal, I think he's probably going to lean it into the Chloe if he lets it go through. Whoa, we're going to be seeing a, I believe it's Shizuka coming out for J-Mac. What an incredible pick. Shizuka is definitely unique. You know, you can re-provide immunity to your team. You can AOE bomb again. Really leans towards a different ban here. I think Tiger might be caught off guard pretty heavily by this. Now, usually when you get these very curious fifth round picks, you just ban it out because you're already prepared for the rest of it. So, and there we go. Shizuka is going to get banned out. We're not going to see this very interesting oh. unit go through. Han's getting banned out, guys. We're getting into a round one with J-Mac and Tiger. J-Mac has incredibly fast runes, but Tiger has the 9% speed advantage here. The Jogun is going to take first turn. Jogun's definitely taking first turn here, looking at a huge trip across his team. Let's see how well tuned he is. He's gonna be tight enough to get in there again, but it looks like Watery, of course, is gonna be cutting here, getting a nice despair stun onto the Chiwu. Interesting to see why he actually went for that strip, though. He could have gotten more attack bar pushback with the Chiwu, not hitting that uh, that water reuse and playing protected. I think he wanted the extra buff to protect against the water reuse strip chance. Well, Chloe getting up that invincibility. Tiger not able to do anything with this. J Mac finally, he's landing a bomb here. I say finally, of course, gets that bomb on top of the Chiwu. Chiwu does stay alive. The invincibility here will protect from Rageful Return, so Samoth is not going to deal very much damage here. Glances the Sierra, barely scratches it for two and a half thousand. Yeah, really can't deal any much damage there with all the invincibility up here. We can see the target unit of focus right now is going to be the Chiwu. I think that Dot's going to be taking it down. Bomb does land on top of Kynel. Not looking good at all for Tiger. j a really clean draft. Very confident, knew what he wanted, was ready. Almost like he knew this was going to happen. Yeah, Chloe looking very, very good right now. Almost might be turning into a meta pick going into Season 17. And there you have it, j -Mac taking round one oh. away from Tiger. A little bit, uh, a little bit off put by the the ban on the Shizuka. I think the ban on the Shizuka was ne not really necessary, but it was more of a I'm not sure how I feel about this in the draft. He really oh. needed, in my opinion, to ban out that Water Ryu, knowing that he had both the Jogun and the Chibu. I mean, I think that's exactly what it was. It was a fifth pick that he was not ready for and did not want to see uh, what it was could possibly could do going into that match. But this is exactly how J-Mac needs to play. It's how we played last year, and he needs to keep his opponent guessing. And that's exactly what J-Mac got to do here. You can see pre vans from last time, Knicks and Hay Gang. Ooh, interesting. J-Mac with the Han ban knows that he's not going to take it first and wants to take it away. Possibly another Okeanos, maybe a Sierra first pick. Yep, and a Water Ryu getting pre banned as well for Tiger. J Mac with the first pick. Is he going to be taking that Okeanos? We'll see. 
I really like the Sierra in this situation. When the Water Reeves banned out, I like the Sierra simply because it is one of the more meta speed leads. Okeanos, one of j Max's best units, definitely goes and takes that first. Yep, Okeanos first pick with j Max, and we have that CR, of course, being taken right after it by Tiger this time. Tiger doesn't want to give j Max the opportunity to run it back again with the Sierra Okeanos. Takes the Sierra and the Carnal, the Okeanos counterpart, as some people call it, to which I think Carnal's better, to be honest. He just might be at this point. But we've got second round of drafts right here with J-Mac. J-Mac looking to lock in two other units. Is he going to be taking units away from Tiger? Or is he going to surprise him with something new? You think we're going to see the Chloe again? Well, there it is. Picks in the Chloe. And what's the third pick? He really wants to see that Shizuka. We get a Chloe Shizuka for a round two draft for J-Mac, giving Tiger plenty of time to do something about this unit. Interesting setup here with the Shizuka and the Chloe. I know the Shizuka works well both against and with the Sierra, but it doesn't look like he has a lot on his team right now. He does have the invincibility. He does have the immunity, maybe leaning for a Mo Long pick here set up, but not really sure. Tiger just has so many different things he could pick from. And he's going to be taking that Nyx, that buffed Nyx is a very powerful unit here with the Joe Gun. Yeah, let's be careful with that Nyx. Nyx Carnal is a deadly combo. The three turn slow debuff is pretty heavy and the one turn bombs from the Sierra. And we've got double Fairy King coming up for j -Mac. He locks in that 33 speed lead with some out and a Ganymede with double reset with Okeanos. Interesting to see Tiger go for a third stripper here. I know the control comes pretty heavily from the Trunk Bong, but it looks like he's probably leaning towards that Samoth ban on the Swift setup here. I guess you just can't have enough strippers here, but it's definitely not a problem. Chung Pung, is it getting locked in? Chooses to change it out, and we go with a Kinky. I think the Kinky is an incredible aspect here. It's a lot of a lot of pressure. J Mac doesn't have a ton of damage. He does have the Shizuka. Well, it doesn't have a ton of single hit damage. Has the Shizuka for the bomb if the Sierra goes up. But additionally, Tiger doesn't have to put Sierra's bomb up ever. He could just rotate with skill one and kill with additional damage. Well, it looks like Nyx is going to be banned out here. Definitely a dangerous unit comboed oh. up with so many of his units here. And we've got Chloe getting banned out in the side of J-Mac. Here we go, guys. Can J-Mac get the 2-0 upset on oh. Tiger? Or can Tiger hold on and go into a game three? We're about to find out. I really, really like the respect on the Chloe ban. People respecting the Chloe is something I never would have expected in my years of Summoner's War, but I can't say I'm upset to see it. Definitely not. It's very, very exciting to even see Chloe at this stage of the game. We've got that reset landing on top of Connell here, and Joe Gunn possibly looking to put someone away. The reset on the Connell, really good value here. No slow debuff for Tiger against J Max. So J Max is going to have the value of that speed lead still. Yep, going for the team strip, not getting the strip on top of the Samoth here. I don't think we've seen anything interesting just yet coming out of the Shizuka, and never mind. So uses the All Forces of Nature specifically for that immunity, wants to protect, has the nice attack buff on his Samoth, but Samoth actually outspeeding the Sierra, not so great, not so great here. It does land a three-man slow debuff. Well, Kinky trying to get a death break on top of Samoth, not receiving it here. We, got a bomb that, uh, we have a bomb that can only go one place. Does he really want to use that right now or just first skill? That's the pressure of the bomb, uses it knowing that Shizuka skill three is gone, but the thing is, J-Mac has the Ventilate available. He definitely does. We might see something really fun coming at him with the Soul Protect sitting on top of Samoth here. That bomb's not going to matter too much. We've got that Ventilate. Let's see if he does put it back on the Shizuka or not. Ventilate into the Shizuka here would be pretty strong, but goes for the Glance on Sierra. Doesn't want the Sierra to rotate any extra turns here. Yep, goes for it again. Kinky not getting the defense breaks where he needs them. Joe Gun possibly looking for some attack bar reduction on either Shizuka or Okeanos. Looks like Sierra doesn't care about glancing Diva. She manages three crits either way and still gets that rotation. Connell possibly getting this provoke on top of Okeanos with the glancing standing tall, not allowing him to do that. Reyna Stone's coming out, get a full team stun on the side of Tiger. This Carnal not getting his value has been resisted twice on that skill one there. Ooh, we see the additional turns coming out of Shizuka. Shizuka is going to have those skills up very soon. Ventilate's going on to the Okeanos, but the additional turn coming out of CR, not able to do anything with that Violent Brock. And J-Mac knows to play carefully. He needs this Okeanos. The Okeanos is a lot bigger damage than the bomb coming out from the Shizuka. Shizuka with the revive and the soul protection is quite a bit of value though. Can bring back the Gany for a Ventilate, can bring back the Gany for a Seal Magic. 
Yep, most definitely not looking good for Tiger at all. Everybody's going to be stunned up here. Too much damage, too much control from the side of J-Mac. J-Mac with a very great draft here. J-Mac really finding ways to control and damage out this Kinky without having to take the revenge damage. And looks like there goes Sierra from the Seal Magic. And Bomb is landing on absolutely everybody. Shizuka doing Shizuka things right now. We're not gonna be able to see these bombs go up because he's so low in HP. J-Mac is taking oh. round two away from Tiger. And there it is, J-Mac with the style doing it his way. The